How you going tribe? Now if you try to go into the division you might have seen that the servers are currently down. Yes, they are down at the moment. Now the developers have posted this on their Twitter page slash X. Now the server is going to go down for three hours and this is going to be the maintenance. Um, it's going to be planned to adjust the server locations and improving the game performance and stability. Now this is kicking off from the server merge that the developers have done two weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and they've done this without telling anyone, but two weeks ago they've actually announced it and they've spoken about this publicly and they've told everyone that they merged the servers, which was kind of a shock to everyone. And they merged the servers without saying anything, however they announced it later on. Now, this week they are adjusting the server locations, so if you are in South America, all the way to Alaska, you'll be connected to one server, which is going to be the US Central Servers. Now, this could be a positive and a negative, and we're going to tackle this in this video. Now, without further ado, let's go straight into it. Now, when the game developers merge the servers, it usually means that the player base have shrunk enough um, for a consolidation to take place. Now, while this isn't the best news because it means that the player base have shrunk and there's not going to be many players or there haven't been many players interacting with the game, while it is not the best news, it could also mean that this is the Ubisoft's way of keeping the game alive by ensuring the remaining players have a smoother and a more engaging gameplay. Now, by merging the servers, it makes it easier to find lobbies and join groups quicker um, for activities like raids, missions and PvP. Because there's less servers to go around to collect players from each server, there's just one central server that the player base is going to be in. So it's going to be quicker to find matches, which is a positive. So even though the player count is smaller than before, now finding matches with other players will be much quicker in this server merge. Now, on the other side of the coin, when it comes to this server merging, it could also be that it's Ubisoft's way of shifting resources. Now, what I mean by that, you might have heard the rumors about the Division 3 being in development. Now, this server merge might be a way to keep the current player base engaged while the company focuses on developing the new game or not even necessarily just the new game, but it could also mean that they're working on bigger projects, like for example Heartland that was promised to the player base but it never got released. Now this could be just Ubisoft's way or the developer's way or the company to focus on developing these new projects or bigger projects and while they're focusing on those projects, they're maintaining the player base in one central server so the players don't have issues with connectivity or finding players online and it doesn't turn out like one of those Call of Duty, the old Call of Duties where now you can't even play online with other people because there's no one in the servers. So this could be a positive and they, they've figured this out in a way where it could help the current player base maintain its activity. Now moving forward into this new season in year 6, this is the new DLC information that have been given to us. Let's have a look at this quote from Yannick, the Division 2 creator, director from an interview he did back at the start of year 6. Well, we're continuing the story uh, and we've been doing that for the past few years already uh, and uh, as you may have seen with the trailer we just released, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, this season we are actually going after Kinner who uh, we found out in the last season that he survived the events of Rollins of New York. Uh, mm -hmm. He actually faked his, uh, his own death. He's so back. He's back. Uh, <laughs> but with a twist, uh, because Ooh. he's uh, he's back, but he's not necessarily your enemy. Uh, he's actually, he wants to talk. Uh, so this is what this season is going to be about. It's going after him to meet and try to hear what he has to say mm -hmm. and see if uh, if we can maybe find a potential ally uh, with us and then we will keep building on that story and all of that is going to lead us into the dlc that we'll be releasing later in the year uh so there's going to be a lot of story now this covers the overall story arc for this year and what it's going to be about so this storyline will continue into the year six season three so the conflict between ourselves keener kelso etc against the black tusk and the hunters will be the main storyline that the developers have set up into the new season. Now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like, subscribe and comment down below what do you guys think of this new server merge and the upcoming season for The Division 2.